Radio1.tv What's up, beautiful people? I'm Chris Williamson. Coming up on Geico Sports tonight, the Mets expect a lot out of Zach Willard for the year, but the pitcher turned in an iffy performance Sunday. Plus, could the Johnnies get back on track against DePaul as the regular season winds down? Might be in for a surprise, but we start with the Yankees' red-hot bats Sunday in spring training against the Tigers and the Jays. So we start with the first inning in Tampa against Detroit. Brett Gardner leading off and leaving the yard, sending this one out to right field, his first home run of the spring season. Yankees jump ahead, 1-0. The very next batter is Aaron Judge, and he flexes his muscles here to hit the opposite field home run. The Yankees go back-to-back to, back to start the game and take a 2-0 lead. Meanwhile, in Dunedin, Yankees also taking on the Jays. Luke Voigt has had a strong spring so far. That continues as he hits his second of the spring. That put the Yanks up 1-0 in this one, however, they go on to lose 5-2 to two to the Blue Jays. Now, back to Tampa now at 1.45 p.m. Brett Gardner at the plate in the bottom of the second. And Gardy does it again, gets a hold of the fastball and sends it out to right field. His second of the game. The Yanks lead the Tigers 3-0. Now, about 15 minutes later, it's the bottom of the third. And Gary Sanchez gets on the board with his first homer of spring training. He rips the breaking ball down the line for the laser beam home run. 4 nothing now, Yankees. Then with the man on in the fifth, is Judge going opposite field once more for his second of the game. Take a closer look at this one as it deflects off the glove of Victor Reyes and bounces up into the seats. Judge will take it. Yankees hit seven home runs between the two games as they win at home 7-1. to one. Now, the Yanks' home run derby Sunday reminded us of how powerful they were last season. And this reminder is presented by Geico. The Yankees set a major league record for 267 home runs in one season. They also led the league in games with the homer. Home runs to take a lead in game-winning homers would be something if they could repeat that success for 2019. Now, as for the action on the mound, Masahiro Tanaka got the nod in Tampa, marking his spring debut after giving up a leadoff triple. Tanaka. Settles in. First, he gets Harold Castro to strike out on the breaking ball. Next batter is Christian Stewart. And Tanaka sits him down as well. He gets him with the high heat. A pair of strikeouts for Tanaka on the day. To the third inning, Tanaka trying to finish off a scoreless outing. He gets Daz Cameron to hit a grounder to short. Easy play for Kyle Holder. Three scoreless innings for Tanaka in his first outing of the spring. Now, meanwhile, some big names came out of the bullpen in Tampa Sunday. Aroldis Chapman made his spring debut, giving up a homer, but not much else. Zach Britton had a 1-2-3 frame in his second appearance, while Adam Adovino bounced back from a rough debut, allowing just one hit in an inning of work. Zach Wheeler making his second spring start for the Mets and struggled against the Cardinals. In the first, Wheeler gives up a run, scoring single to right off the bat of Jed Jerko as Matt Carpenter scores. Mets trail 1-0. In the second, with the runner on, Carpenter hits a deep drive to left center for a two-run homer. Wheeler gave up three runs in one and two-thirds innings and spoke about being out of sync. I think with more reps, uh, you know, it gets smoothed out, figured out, just yanking some fastballs and uh, his command's a little off. So, um, you know, I think they only hit one, one ball hard and, you know, I just didn't want to walk Carpenter again, so I kind of just... Gave him one, but it was up. You know, it should have been down a little bit more. You sort of know what you're doing out there um, at this point in your career. You know, you're yanking fastballs, you're probably just pulling off a little bit instead of staying close. So, um, you know, the snake's bullpen, um, you know, just concentrate on that type of stuff. And uh, just go back and watch some video from last year and just try to sort of, you know, get your body used to uh, repeating that. Plenty more Mets later on on Geico Sports Night. Travis Darno plays in his first game since undergoing Tommy John surgery almost a year ago. The Jets were awfully busy this week at the NFL Combine, scouting potential future stars of their squad. Gang Green needs to shore up a lot of holes on the team, and the defensive line is one of them. With the third pick, they could get a game-changing pass rusher. For more on what the Jets might do at number three, here's Janae Coakley. I'm here with Tony Pauline from DraftAnalyst.com. And, Tony, you've been covering the Combine for almost 20 years. Jets have the third pick. What do you see the Jets doing with it? I think first what they're going to do is they're going to turn over every rock to see if they can get a top pass rusher at free agency. If they're able to do that, 
They will trade back to get extra selections. They want to get that second round pick back that they gave away last year to the Colts to move up and get Sam Darnold. If they hold the third pick, I think it's going to be a defensive player, an edge rusher, maybe a guy like Josh Allen. All right, you just talked about Sam Darnold. What do they need to do day two of the draft to protect Sam Darnold and to give him some weapons? Yeah, there's going to be give a me lo- some names. There's going to be a lot of good skill players on day two. Daryl Henderson of Memphis, the running back. He's compared to Devonta Freeman, the all-pro running oh. back from the Atlanta Falcons. Ran the 4-4 today. He's an explosive runner. Can beat defenders into the open field, then run to daylight. He's a big play threat at the running back position. If they're looking for a receiver, Emmanuel Hall out of Missouri. Drew Locke's favorite deep threat. A guy who can take it the distance. A guy who's got home run hitting speed. But he's also a good receiver. And then finally, Penny Hart of Georgia State, who's a third, fourth round pick. A guy who's a little bit small. 5'8", 170 pounds. A great slot receiver, dangerous when the ball is in his hands, can score from any point in the field, and he's also a very good return specialist. Any three of those guys who are going to be available in the third and fourth round will add immediate impact to the Jets' offense. Always enjoy speaking to you, and we're not talking about the Jets picking a quarterback this year. No, but we hope not. <laughs> yeah, go figure. All right, back to you. Thanks, Janae. Hopefully the Islanders fans got all the John Tavares booing and name-calling out of their system because the playoffs should be their only focus from here on out. Since that big win over Tavares' team, New York's lost focus, taking an L to the Caps, and a loss against the Flyers Sunday could knock them out of first place in the Metropolitan Division for the first time since January 18. Islanders hosting the Flyers. Owls came in two points short of the first-place Capitals in the Metro. Flyers strike first in the opening period. Travis Konechny. Picks up the puck and cuts in before going upstairs. That's his 21st of the season. Flyers up 1-0. Later in the period, a match scrum in front. Flyers defenseman Travis Sanheim sneaks in and puts it past Robin Leonard. Flyers score twice in the first and led 2-0 into the first intermission. It was a short night for the Islanders netminder. Flyers win another loose puck here. Scott Lawton walks out the corner, makes it 3-0. Barry Trotz had seen enough as he subs in Thomas Grice. Leonard giving up three goals on just 13 shots. Later in the second, some puck luck beats Grice. Oscar Lindblom throws it across and it flexes in off Sean Couturier. Flyers jump to the commanding 4-0 lead. A little bit of rough stuff in the third period after Jordan Everly landed a hit on Konechny. They decide to drop the gloves. Both players getting a good few shots in. Flyers, however, get the last laugh in this one as they win it 4-1. For more, here's Andrew Lee on the loss. We were off tonight from the get-go. Uh, we tried to stay in it. We tried to try to battle back, but four-goal deficit's tough. Um, you know, we got our backs against the wall a little bit here. We've had a tough stretch, and uh, you know, we just got to find a way to stick together. This is the time of the season where you have to you have to get points. Um, you know, teams are climbing. Look at the standings, and the Metro is as close as it's going to be. Um, you know, teams are climbing. Carolina's playing well. These guys are playing well. Washington's winning. You know, it just seems like everyone's winning. So we have to, you know, keep pace. I know we've we've put up a little bit of a leeway, but it's gone now. So we have to find a way to, um, you know, I think the biggest game is the next one. We we need to find a way to get uh, two points. So could the Isles get some help from their rivals here in Manhattan? Highlights of the Rangers and Capitals at the Garden as the Islanders hope Washington wouldn't pull ahead of them. Plus, St. John's needs to work out some kinks with the Big East Tourney in the big dance on the horizon. We'll check in on their efforts at DePaul when Geico Sports Night returns. Geico Sports Night is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com for a free rate quote. Geico makes it easy to get help when you need it. With licensed agents available 24-7, it's not just easy. It's having a walrus and goal easy. It's a walrus! Ridiculous! Yes! Nice save, big guy! Good job, Duncan! Way to go! It's not just easy, it's Geico easy. Duncan, stay up. No sleepies. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. So when you buy one room, it's only $50 for laminate in the kitchen, $50 for carpet in the bedroom, and $50 for hardwood in the office. There's no limit. Buy one room, and it's $50 for floors in each additional room. Schedule now. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. Cadillac Move Up sales event is here. 
Move up to next-gen connectivity. Move up to advanced safety. Move up to something a little more, well, Cadillac in XT5, XT4, and the Escalade. Current non-GM owners and lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Cadillac XT5 from around $359 per month. You went to college, you're smart. So why are you getting ripped off on your student loans? At Credible.com, we've helped tens of thousands of people save money by refinancing their student loans. In three minutes, we'll get you actual rates from multiple lenders. We could save you hundreds of dollars a month by refinancing to a lower rate. Don't get ripped off on your student loans. Let's focus on your future, not your debt. Visit Credible.com and in three minutes, see how much you could save. Tired of the winter blues? Need a break from your daily grind? Ready to press pause and make time for you? Escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and let the calming surf, soft sand and warm sun do the work. With amazing deals all along the coast, it's the perfect time for a seaside getaway. So make time for you. Visit Myrtle Beach, where happiness comes in waves. SNY.TV, all things New York sports, all on one site with easy access to up-to-the-minute news on all of your favorite New York area teams. Only on SNY.TV, your online home of all things New York sports. Capitals at Rangers, Alex Ovechkin and the reigning champs visiting the Garden. Now, not even a minute into the game, Capitals turn it over. Chris Kreider sends it to Ryan Strom in front. And he puts it in the net. one nothing Rangers. Second period. New York trailing 2-1. Rebound comes out to Philip Hedl. He barely gets the pass off. Pavel Buchnevich fires it into the wide open net. Game tied at two. This game would go to a shootout, folks. Capitals win if Ovechkin scores. He brings the puck up the ice. Alexander Georgiev tosses his stick at Ovechkin, who can't get a shot off. It's ruled no goal, but it would be reviewed by rule, a goaltender cannot throw his stick at the puck carrier during a penalty shot. The call is overturned and a goal is awarded to Ovechkin. That's how it ended. Rangers lose 3-2. to two. Here's our Maria Marino with more. The Rangers have lost all three games on their homestand and since selling at the trade deadline after falling short to the Capitals, who are in a tight race for first place with the Islanders in the Metropolitan Division. Now, three of the four meetings between the Rangers and Capitals have gone to overtime this season, but all resulting in wins for the defending champs. They're fighting for their lives from a playoff standpoint and where they want to be seated and you know, every point matters. And you know, one game goes to overtime, you might think it's a you know, flu. It's certainly a great measuring stick, but you want to win. And, but I think our guys should feel good about the direction we're going, the way guys have developed, and the way they're not intimidated by the Stanley Cup champions. Meanwhile, on the Rangers' side, out of playoff contention, the focus continues to be on the youth movement. That includes 20-year-old Brett Howden. He made his return from a knee injury Sunday. Also, 19-year-old Philip Heedle. He had been benched for the previous two games due to inconsistent effort, but did register an assist on Sunday. From Madison Square Garden, Maria Marino, SNY. Thanks, Maria. The last time the St. John's Red Storm took on DePaul, they suffered a bad loss at home, but it came without star guard Shamari Ponce. Sunday, though, the Johnnies had him and all of their main contributors at full strength, so there would really be no excuse to fall against the Demons, who had a 5-10 record in the Big East going into the game. St. John's still trying to push themselves into the NCAA tournament, visiting DePaul. Now, Johnny's got off to a great start. Marvin Clark gets an open look in the corner and hits the three. That's part of a 10-0 run to start the game. Later in the half, St. John slipped by three. Shimori Pons dips in and hits the pull-up jumper. He had 29 in the game. Johnny's led by nine after the break. St. John's was 16-2 coming into the day when leading at the half, but history didn't repeat itself as DePaul really heats up in the second. Max Struess hits the three there. And the second half was really all about the DePaul senior. Minutes later, it's a two-point game. Struess shakes free and nails the corner jumper to tie the game at 53. Johnny's leading here by one with five minutes and change left. Uh, but Struess hits a contested three-pointer. That put the Blue Demons ahead by two. And moments later, 
It's a dagger. Off the screen, Struce. Strokes another triple. His teammates love it on the bench as they celebrate. Have no idea what that man is doing, but it looks funny. They celebrate with some crazy dance moves. Strew scores a career high 43 to help defeat St. John's. Final score 92 to 83. Now, since that monster comeback win over then number 13 Nova, the Red Storm have trended in the wrong direction. They've won one game out of the last four, including two double-digit losses, and now their NCAA tournament hopes don't look so sure. They got the whole week, though, to prepare for their regular season finale Saturday at Xavier. Time for the Ram Rumor Report. Giants fans won't want to hear this, but Philly.com reports a market for Foles outside of Jacksonville has not developed and the Jaguars absolutely expect to sign the former Super Bowl MVP when free agency opens March 13th. Since Foles is out of the Giants' grasp, they'll look to, draft, they'll look to the draft for QBs. For more on that, here's Pat Leonard from the NFL Combine. The Giants continued to show strong interest in Ohio State quarterback Dwayne Haskins at Lucas Oil Stadium during his throwing session. That said, Drew Locke of Missouri came off as the most polished quarterback of the group with a cannon arm and fed the frenzy that perhaps even three quarterbacks could go in the top ten of this draft, even though the quarterback class is considered much weaker than last year's when five went. Speaking of the top ten, DK Metcalf, a freak wide receiver out of Ole Miss, ran a 4-3-3-40 to go with six foot three, two twenty-eight measurables and one point nine percent body fat. The scuttlebutt also, the strong talk is that Kyler Murray, the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback out of Oklahoma, could in fact be the number one pick of the Arizona Cardinals. Though I've also talked to some people who believe that Nick Bosa, the edge rusher from Ohio State, will be Arizona's guy. And finally, two teams to watch on the trade market, San Francisco 49ers and Oakland Raiders. A lot of people I've talked to here believe that John Gruden is about to make a huge splash in the free agent or trade market. Watch John Gruden to shake things up in the NFL. From the NFL Combine, Pat Leonard, SNY. Thanks, Pat. Ahead on Geico Sports Night, a chat with Santonio Holmes. What does one former Steeler turned Jet think about Antonio Brown possibly joining Gang Green? Plus, with his Mets future in doubt, Travis Darno makes his return to game action in Florida. And 20 more games for David Fisdale and company, which means 20 more chances for tanking. Highlights of the Knicks and Clippers next. With Vroom, you can get carefully inspected late model cars delivered straight to your driveway. Ooh. Get me to work cars. Get me out of town cars. Ooh, get me notice cars. No back and forth to the dealer. Just you, your phone, and tons of cars. Just go to Vroom.com, pick your favorite, and tell them where to bring it. I try not to look out the numbers. I just try to go out there and put this team in a position to win. Congratulations to Jacob DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom, the runaway winner of the National League Stadium Award. So put it in perspective here. How outside the box was this hire? We have a winning mindset. And collectively, we believe that everything is possible and nothing is impossible. It's not about playing 162 game and just go home. It's about winning. Go out there and perform and help the teams to win the World Series. Let's go there and have fun and you know, be with the best friend, the baseball. But I want to assure all Mets fans that every person in this organization will be fearless and relentless in our pursuit of greatness. Ladies, have you heard about the new X-Series of scratch-offs in the New York Lottery? X-Series? Yeah, X-Series. You can multiply your winnings extensively, up to 100 times. That exists? Exceedingly so. An extravaganza of extra winnings sounds excellent. <laughs> How's Xavier? Excelling at all his extracurriculars, really exceeding the experts' expectations. How's Lex? Back with his ex. Oh. Examine the new X-Series of scratch-offs exclusively from the New York Lottery. With prizes up to, but not exceeding $5 million. Just look for the X. And now's the time you've been waiting for. The undisputed champs, Tundra and Tacoma. And in this corner, the reigning rulers of the road. Oh, let's get ready for spring. Not bad. Ready for a great deal? Uh, let's do it. 
so good. Right now, lease Corolla for just $129 a month or lease Camry for just $189 a month. Plus, recent college grads get a $500 rebate on top of existing offers. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. All things New York sports, all on one site with easy access to up-to-the-minute news on all of your favorite New York area teams, only on SNY.TV. Knicks at Clippers. New York struggling early as DeAndre Jordan looks on, missing his fourth straight game with a sprained left ankle. First quarter, Clippers up by 11. Landry Shamet knocks down the corner three. The rookie had seven three-pointers in the game. Second quarter, Knicks down just 25. Alonzo Trier with the moves, tosses up the alley-oop pass. The Mitchell Robinson for the dunk. Take another look. Big one-handed slam for Mr. Robinson. Fourth quarter, the Knicks have cut the lead to 23. Noah Vonley spans. He's open for the dunk. Vonley had 17 points a couple minutes later. Shea Gilgis Alexander drives through the Knicks defense. He slams it home. Clippers hand the Knicks their 50th loss of the season, 128 to 107, the final. Now, coming off Tommy John surgery, Travis Darno's Mets future is a bit hazy. He made his return to action Sunday as he battles for the Mets backup catcher spot. He legged out an RBI infield single in the fifth inning. Darno went one for three as the DH and talked about how he felt up at bat. I was a little uh, jumpy at the plate, but probably had to do with the nerves and stuff. Um, but it felt good. I was glad to be back out there. I feel I'm in a good spot. I feel like I'm ready. Um, and as far as getting back there behind the plate, I, I, it's coming soon. Um, I think that they want me to catch one more game over there um, just to go through an actual game, and then I'll be over here, or should be over here after that. Another guy battling for a roster spot is Dominic Smith. With the game tied in the seventh, he drives a three-run homer to write his first extra base hit of the spring. But he's hitting 500 so far. That homer helped his chances of making the team and helped the Mets to a 10-8 victory over the Cards. On Monday, the Mets have split squad matchups against the last two world champions. Half the team will face the most recent champs, the Red Sox in Port St. Lucie at 1 o'clock. And you can see that game right here on SNY. Plenty of Jets fans would love to have Antonio Brown as a new Jet. And Antonio Holmes knows a thing or two about trading in a Steeler jersey for a Jets one. The former Super Bowl MVP spent the first four years of his career as a Steeler before suiting up for gang green for four seasons. Arjun A. Coakley got a chance to catch up with him at the NFL Combine this weekend to discuss A.B. and Combine memories. Do you remember your time at the Combine? Oh, my gosh. That was 13 <laughs> years ago, Janine. You're, you're making me uh, show my age and my true colors now. Uh, 13 years ago, man, was a blessing. I uh, got an opportunity to come to the Combine. Uh, I was underweight, you know, coming in, and uh, they, they needed me to gain some weight, and they wanted to see what I looked like on stage. And I felt very uncomfortable because I was out of my element as far as weighing 168, 70 pounds uh, to gaining 18, close to 18, 20 pounds before the Combine in, like, you know, five weeks. Uh, it was really stressful on my body. So, therefore, I got sick, and I had the flu. And I wasn't feeling comfortable enough to run so that I could perform at my best. So at the combine on, that's on run day and workout day, I decided to leave. And I think it was best for me that I did that because I would not have performed at my best. And I would have had another opportunity at pro day. But I figured one time was the best opportunity. And I wanted to showcase my best talent at my pro day. So I was going to say you used a pro day to showcase your skills. Exactly. The pro day is there for these guys uh, who didn't actually make the combine uh, list. But also for these guys that are at the combine and they don't feel as if they had measured up to what the NFL had expected them to, that they get another opportunity to redo themselves at uh, their pro day. All right, let's talk a little about the Jets. What do you think of Sam Darnold? Oh, Sam Darnold is a young guy from USC who's very hungry. Uh, he's in a great position. I think the Jets you know, took him you know, early because they saw the potential mm -hmm. in his future. And he's eager and excited. You know, I see his tenacity on the football field and how he uh, demands the players to understand you know, how he's expecting them to play the game. So I think they have a bright future you know, with uh, Coach Gash coming in this year. What's your take on Antonio Brown? Oh, business is booming. You want a great receiver that's going to give you 15 touchdowns, 1,000 yards every season? You know, he's the guy. You know, regardless of what people are saying about his attitude and his demeanor, as a wide receiver, like I said, you can't do anything without touching the football. And therefore, if you give me opportunities and I touch the football, therefore I'm going to continue wanting that atmosphere. So sign him up. You know, he's going to be a great player. He's going to bring great business to the organization. Uh, he's going to get the fan base involved, you know, with the, uh, with the New York Jets. So if that's a great, you know, pick for them, you know, I would definitely take it. 
What was your greatest Jets memory when you look back at your years with the Jets? Oh, man, I had quite a few, you know. <laughs> I think I had about four or five game-winning touchdowns, you know, with the New York I Jets. more than that. Uh, but... And that alone, you know, made me feel that is that I was wanted in the New York Jet organization, you know, when I played for the Jets. Uh, my greatest memory is going to Pittsburgh and scoring touchdowns in the Pittsburgh Stadium, you know, in the Jet uniform and being able to spread my wings and, you know, fly around in their stadium. So that was pretty awesome. Coming up, Dan Hurley was having a solid first year until the Huskies' recent six-game losing streak. Could UConn turn things around on Ray Allen Day? Highlights from stores are next on Geico Sports Night. Geico Sports Night is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com for a free rate quote. Choosing my car insurance was the easiest decision ever. I switched to Geico and saved hundreds. That's a win. But it's not the only reason I switched. Geico's a company I can trust. With over 75 years of great savings and service. Now that's a win-win. Switch to Geico. It's a win-win. Oh. returns are better. WB Mason delivers original HP toner the same day for free. And our instant returns give you instant refunds on the spot. Who but WB Mason? Nobody does it better. The Ford Escape is the car you want when you want an SUV. But also the SUV you want when you want a car. Now get an escape with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash or lease for just $199 a month. Only at your local Ford store. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, always wanted to be. Hey, Joey. At your service. How can Brooklyn improve its defense? Brooklyn? I'll follow that team. Let me use my uh, dial-a-friend lifeline. Oh! Hello. Hello. Joey! It's been ages, man. I got this new job in the technology field. So far, so good. How's the wife doing? Oh, you got an hour? She's like a Harry Krishna now. SNY, complete coverage of every New York team, anytime, from any device. Get your New York sports here. South Florida at UConn. Big day in stores as Ray Allen had his number 34 retired by the Huskies. Coach Jim Calhoun was there to celebrate the moment with Allen. Under a minute to go, UConn down one. All three, Gilbert. He drives, he puts up the floater and gets the bounce. UConn takes the 55 to 54 lead. 2.6 seconds left. South Florida down two. The ball is heaved down the court. USF saves it, but it goes into the hands of Gilbert. UConn holds on to win 60 to 58. After Bryce Harper slipped up at his Phillies press conference saying he wants to bring a title back to DC, Noah Syndergaard threw some major shade at him. Thor posted on Instagram sarcastically, we want to bring home a title to DC. Oops. I mean, Queens major burn. Can't wait to see those two go up against each other all year. Speaking of the NL East, according to ESPN's Keith Law, negotiations between the Nationals and Craig Kimbrell are further down the road than previously reported. The Nats, Braves, and Phillies were all said to have some interest in the free agent closer. 
That does it for this edition of Geico Sports Night. I'm Chris Williamson. Don't forget Mets baseball on SNY at 1 p.m. Have a safe Monday, beautiful people.